Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials in Hand. In this video lecture, we are going to learn about if else in Python. We will also see if else, elif, nested if, all of these with the help of examples. So without further ado, let's get started with the video. In any programming language, conditional statement plays an important role in decision making. In Python also, we can use conditional statements in many ways and those are if statement, if else statement, elif statement, and nested if statement. Now let's try to understand each of them one by one. So first of all, let's start with if else in Python. So first of all, let's see what exactly is the syntax of if else statement. So this is the syntax of if else. Now uh, coming to each of the term one by one, then first of all, we will give uh, the keyword which is if, then the condition. From the condition, it means whatever condition we want to check. For example, if we want to check the age, then the condition would, would be, uh, let's say, age greater than 18. Then that's the condition. So condition would be there. Then after a colon is uh, there. Then in the next line, we will give some space. And after that, we will write the piece of code that we want to be executed if the condition is true. So after this, we can see that else is there with a colon and then after again, some spaces are there then after the piece of code. So uh, one thing that you might have noticed that uh, unlike C++, Java or C, we are not using curly braces over here. So this is the fact that in Python, we don't use curly braces in order to uh, group the piece of code, but we use indentations. So with the help of indentations, we can declare what are the pieces of code that comes under which. So over here, you can see that uh, inside the if statements, we have given some indentations and the piece of code uh, which falls under it comes within the same uh, indented areas. So this is how we uh, segregate the code part. And uh, this is the uh, simple example of it. You can see this is a small logic for uh, printing if and uh, if a person can vote or not, uh, the logic is very simple, which is uh, if then the condition is there that age greater than 18, then a colon, then print can vote. So uh, this statement will get executed if the condition is true. Now, if that's not the case, then it will go to the else part, which is else colon. Then it will again print. Uh, I mean, now this time it will print can't vote. So uh, this is how the if else, the simple if else in Python works. Now, moving on to the next one. Now let's try to understand how exactly we can use elif in python with the help of an example and to do that let's open vs code and over here let's create a new file and give it the name as uh, grading.py now let's write a program uh, let me write the program first so that uh, it cuts the time and once i write the program and run it then uh, we can uh, understand the logic part of it In this program, you can see we have a variable named marks, which has been initially assigned a value of 74. Now, when the program reaches at line number 2, then over there, it will check if marks is greater than or equal to 90. And here in this case, we can see that it's false. So instead of moving on to line number 3, the program flow will go to line number 4. Now, again, since here, it's not just the normal else condition, it's the else if. So uh, it, it will check if marks is greater than or equal to 80 and it's less than 90. So again, it turns out to be false because the marks is 74. Now again, instead of moving on to the next line, it will move to uh, our line number six. And over here, again, the else L if condition, which is else if uh, talking about it particularly, then that's the condition. So over here, it will check if the condition satisfies or not. So as per our marks value, which is 74, this condition is true and hence the flow will move to line number seven because it was true and A will get printed. So this is how elif's flow happens in Python and how we can use elif. I hope you understood this. Now let's move on to the last one, which is how to use nested if in Python. Talking about nested if, then if there is an if condition, and inside that if condition, there is again another if condition, then such situation we call it to be nested if. Now, uh, let's see an example how to implement nested if in Python. So in order to do that, let's create a file. Now, let me write the code first, uh, so it will be helpful. Now, 
Now discussing this program, then at line number one, first of all, a variable named a uh, name would be there, which has been initialized admin. Then after uh, the flow will move to line two, wherein a variable age will be uh, there, in which twenty three would be assigned. Now at line number three, first of all, a check would be there that uh, whether or not the name is identical to admin. So over here we can see that yeah, it's true. So since it was true, then it will move to line number uh, four. Uh, had the name been not admin, then the flow would have went to line number eight. So now in this case, since it is true, then uh, it will move to line number four. And again, a check is there that uh, age is greater than eighteen or not. So this is what nested if is. See here, you uh, you can see that at line three there is a if, if condition. Now, if that if condition satisfied, then again inside it there is an if condition. So this is what a uh, nested if is there. So uh, now talking about uh, the flow, then in line number four, four again a check is there that uh, age is greater than eighteen or not, and we can see that it's true. So it will move to line number uh, five, and access allowed would be uh, printed. So this is how the flow of uh, nested if is there. Uh, I hope in this complete video you have got the gist of what exactly is uh, if condition, what is uh, if else condition, what is nested if, and how to write each of them. Uh, also, we have discussed what is else if. I hope each and every uh, concept of this video is clear. But still, if you have any doubt or want to ask anything, then uh, feel free to drop that in the comment section. Uh, we will surely try to resolve it as soon as possible. So this was all about this video. I hope you understood the concepts very well. Uh, see you in the next video. Thank you.